What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Eli, man. It's your boy, Eli, man. Back with another video, informational video for y'all. And I want to hurry up and get this out. I think it's, I believe, seven hours in East. <clears throat> and I want to get this video out, man. This video is, what do you need to do on Core Conquer 2v2? Now, first, man, before I get into this video, man, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you subscribe and comment if this works, man. You feel me? But, um, yeah, man, my first tip is to make a, if you have the VC, make either, like, a playmaker a play, uh, playmaker these are three builds that get you the most rough a uh, playmaker shot creator um that's third i'm going from order playmaker shot creator uh playmaker slasher and then a playmaker playmaker slasher and playmaker get the same amount of rep which is the primary yellow pie chart to give you the most rep man uh and then the big man if you don't want to be that's only if you don't want now if you don't want to be a guard make an interior finisher Make an interior finisher, power forward, 610. There's videos on YouTube how to make all of them. Now, the build I'm running with right now, I have a play slasher, and my man's is a, um, a paint beast. Now, his paint beast is 7 foot, so you know it's fast. And the most important thing is make sure you can play with a glass lock, but I, I advise you to play with like a shorter big. So, because speed matters, bro, because these AI is going to catch up just like that, bro. So, like, I advise you to play with a, a smaller big that's like an interior finisher, interior force. Um, seven footish. I mean, you can do glass lock screen and roll, but like, it's gonna be way more harder. Like, look, look, look at my teammate. He just running around catching lives, man. Just running around catching lives, man. Um, <clears throat> you wanna throw the oops? Like, you can do it multiple ways. You can just like wait till the teammate run around you. You can do it off the inbound. You can do it off screen and roll. It all depends on how you wanna play it. Um, I just do whatever he do. <laughs> That's all I do, man. If he do that, I just throw it. So, um, yeah, and my other tip is make sure you do your wheel because you can get double rep do stack on top. So that'd be like 4x rep, man, right there. So make sure you do your you do your daily spin. I didn't get double rep today, so sadly, um, yeah, but take advantage of this. And now, and another tip is play all servers. Now, I didn't play Asia or Europe because I heard it's like delay, but I'm most definitely playing West. So play East and West, um. Yeah, man, if y'all in East and West, comment y'all PSN and so y'all can help each other out. I have a West server friend, mm, luckily. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be in the West servers, too, getting this rep, man. Uh, road to Elite 1, grind don't stop, man. And, yeah, another tip is um, I told y'all about what builds to make. Now, let me get, because y'all probably like, why do I have to make a new build? You don't have to make a new build, bro. But I'm just saying, like, some builds don't get as much rep as others. Like, if you have a rebounding wing or you have a shot creator, a pure shot creator, like, you don't get as much rep for throwing lobs. And I think the rep depends on your pie chart. Like, whatever pie chart, whatever pie chart you got, that's how much rep on that, and that, and that pie chart, that's, that's how much, that's how it measures what type of rep to give you. So, like, I had the primary playmaking pie chart. So, yeah. <clears throat> I get a lot of rep from lobs. And lobs and flashies. So, as you can see, man, I'm just throwing them lobs, man. I don't really think there's nothing else for me to talk about here. I think I covered everything in this video. Um, The rest is just gameplay. And at the end, it's, I'm going to show you how much rep I got and how far my bar is. Now, look. If y'all can take advantage of this and play East and West. Or if y'all like to play Europe and all server, y'all can low-key earn 10 to 15% on your bar. If you know like this and play it all the time, especially if you have a dead park. If you have a dead park, you can especially take advantage of this, man. This is like the second easiest way to wrap up, bro, besides Puma Mania. This is the second easiest way. Because you only need one more person. And I'm sure everybody looking for somebody, you can easily pick just one more person up. Instead of three, you have to find two. So, uh, yeah, man, I hope y'all really take advantage of this. Hopefully, y'all grinding this um Core Conquer 2v2. And re let me remind y'all, this is only for 2v2. Not 3v3 core conquer, even though it passed. But this is for 2v2 core conquer that's going on right now. So um Yeah, man, as you can see I threw the flashy right there. You know, I gotta get gotta get everything in, man. Everybody eat. That's how I play. <clears throat> but yeah, besides that, man, I don't think there's really nothing else to talk about. I covered everything basically. Oh yeah, and uh, I'm gonna let y'all know. The e one more one more last thing, one more last thing. The easiest courts is James Harden and Will Chamberlain. That's the easiest court. James, it go like this, bro. The three top easiest courts is either James Harden, LeBron, and D Wade, and um Carmelo, and and I don't know the other dude. But yeah, them three courts is the easiest, man. All the other courts, they not they not easy, but they not hard, but they not easy at the same time. Like it's gonna be a close game, dang there. But um, yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm finna just cut out the commentary right now. Have y'all look at the gameplay and how much rough I got at the end. Yeah, this is your boy Eli, and I'm out. Peace.